In general, we Georgians, along with all of mankind, appreciate the meaning of education, that education is the shortest route to freedom. Historically, Kutaisi has always been a traditional center of education, and I mean traditional, in an all-Georgian sense. And I think Kutaisi was the best choice. It is true that a lot of time was spent, but I think that, as an idea, it developed in the right way. In my opinion, we chose a good location in Kutaisi as well. This will be an international university, and we hope that very many foreigners will want to study in Kutaisi. Today, as we are entering a different era, and high technology actually penetrates our everyday lives, with artificial intelligence integrating into our lives, the issue of a high-tech university has become very relevant and important today. That will enable parents and students to assess the future and consider professions of the future. A whole new family will be brought together within the system of education. Students living on campus will develop closer bonds and learning will become easier and more fun. It will be a significantly new form of teaching in Georgia. The Kutaisi International University is a truly European university of global standards. It is a truly unique academic project. The word international in the title of Kutaisi International University denotes the philosophy on which the university is founded. This will be a truly international university. Foreign professors from leading universities of the world, from Germany or other European countries, the United States of America or Japan, will give lectures at Kutaisi International University, together with Georgian professors, and all of this will ensure that the graduates of Kutaisi International University are competitive on the global arena. It is important for us that there be foreign academic personnel who will physically arrive on campus, live in Kutaisi, and have direct contact with the students. However, there are also specific subjects that may be taught online. The online mode of operation allows us to get the Georgian scientific community very actively involved in the academic life of the university. We met with them and they will become involved in the academic life of Kutaisi International University with a great deal of interest and enthusiasm. In 1992, we started funding various higher educational institutions, upgrading infrastructure in schools and ensuring their technical equipment. We switched our attention to existing systems of general and higher education. Good that you recall this chronology. It never crossed our minds to build a new university because there were universities out there. As you know, schools were in dire straits at the time and the ambition to create a new one for us to start building a university had not occurred to us. The year was 2007. Tbilisi State University was preparing for its 90th anniversary. The infrastructure of the first building was in a very bad state and we decided to address the CARTU fund with an official letter. Mr. Bidzina Ivanishvili visited the university. The main topic of discussion during the meeting was the role of the university in the development of the country. Mr. Ivanishvili's main thesis was that today the future of this country is being determined precisely in the university and that it is precisely education that will determine the country's prospects for future development. It was his decision when he said that he would renovate not only the first building of the university, but the second building as well. 
He said that he would provide us with 1 million euros per year to purchase modern textbooks, mostly in English. And he also said that he would allocate 100 million euros in order to build a modern campus that will mainly host technical specialities and modern labs in the territory adjacent to the 10th building of the university, commonly referred to as the Maghlibi building, which measures approximately 90 hectares. Then the political situation became complicated, the war broke out and I severed ties with them after those elections. Then this idea concerning Kutaisi was conceived, the most logical and best idea, I believe. It was the sincere desire of our family to establish a high-tech university actually enabling young people to receive this new type of education. And, correspondingly, it will not be a private university. As many other projects financed by our family, it will be donated to the state. It will be a state university, though one enjoying private funding in this case. Our only function will be to provide the funding. Organizational issues take a lot of time and we are providing assistance with this as well. A precedent is being established for the first time in history after the restoration of Georgia's independence. A new Georgian state university is being founded, which, in my opinion, is a historic event. Since the creation of the university, we have been cooperating with the Technical University of Munich. This is one of the leading universities in the world and the academic programs that will receive the first wave of students were created in collaboration with precisely this university. The main aim is to support the new university to establish international groups of uh, professors and students. We need to get international people of course, we, in addition to that, need to have the best brain from Georgia itself, of course. Uh, but uh, one has to establish study courses which are unique in the country and in the region. And so then, I think very soon, students will come from all over the place uh, to study at the new university. It is very good news that Professor Wolfgang Hermann, a leading, world-renowned scientist and the former president of the Technical University of Munich, is the honorary president of the Kutaisi International University. In the main hall of uh, our university, there was a big event in order to make me the President Emeritus after 24 years in office, uh, which has been the longest serving president of a university in Europe. Yes, I'm the uh, honorary president of the new uh, Kutaisi University. Uh, this is a very nice and uh, honorable uh, assignment for uh, which I'm uh, grateful. And uh, so I may be able to help through my uh, excellent network across the world, really, uh, to make uh, the new charter a true success. Perhaps most importantly, this model of the university was developed in close cooperation with the Technical University of Munich. 
What is under discussion here is not the adoption of the model of the University of Munich, or a copy thereof, but rather the ways in which we might cooperate with them to create a university in the Georgian educational space that will meet the standards of the West and the standards that exist within the Technical University of Munich. At the same time, when the young people, students, graduate from this university, they must be able to compete on the global labor market, having education that meets international standards. We will have a cooperation, Georgian scientists and German scientists, Georgian students and German students. They will work together to realize the same quality level that we have here in Germany, however adapted to Georgian needs and to the Georgian environment. It should be a standalone university which will be unique in the whole Caucasian region. Kutaisi International University hopefully will have a value not only for the academic education of Georgian students, but for the future industrialization of the whole country. Technical University Munich when it has been established 150 years ago, supported the industrialization of Bavaria. It helped to turn Germany into a high-tech country. We think that Kutaisi International University will play the same role for the future development of Georgia. It will bring high technologies to Georgia and it will help to establish Georgian technologies for future development. Technical University of Munich uh, can transfer uh, its ample experience in science, engineering, technology, medicine and economy uh, to the newly founded university, step by step, of course. Kuta Isi International University, with the help of Technical University Munich, will become an entrepreneurial university as well. It will create startups which should become the future high technology companies in Georgia. It will bring an entrepreneurial spirit to the country and it will benefit from the entrepreneurial spirit that already is there. We believe in Georgia as a country. The entrepreneurial spirit is very important. Also, take a scientific and technological progress and bring it on the market uh, with uh, interesting uh, products and procedures where you finally can make money from, because uh, the economy needs the money in order to support research and education again. I think the direct uh, benefit uh, of the new university in Georgia uh, is the spirit uh, which uh, can uh, be transferred from TUM. The academic space, the so-called campus, is ultra-modern and of Western styles, as is customary at leading European and American universities. Students will have access to the entire intellectual treasure trove that is available to the students of the world's leading universities. Our fund has been doing charity work in Georgia for 25 years and it has allocated over $3 billion to various projects for this purpose. Despite the aforementioned, the Kutaisi International University project is of an unprecedented scale for our fund. To this end, the fund allocated 1 billion euros that will be entirely spent on the creation of the Kutaisi University campus. We decided to maximize the level of comfort for the students. Everyone will have individual apartments with individual kitchens and bathrooms in our university. Very many good universities lack the aforementioned and this is a great luxury. The campus area measures 153 hectares, of which 80 hectares consist of a forest of endemic plant varieties. By the way, the forest had some problems due to excessive water infiltration, which caused a great process of withering to take place there. We are combating this with drainage systems. 
I can say right now that the Kutaisi University campus will be one of the greenest campuses not only in Georgia, but in the entire world. I fully guarantee this, and in the nearest future, when the university opens and tuition begins here, students and the entire public will see for themselves how green the Kutaisi International University really is. Besides the usual characteristics of a university town, Kutaisi, in our case, will have added value in that we will additionally build a scientific center with hadron therapy, an accelerator, which is regarded as a mega-project. Besides medical treatment, scientists of various fields, mathematicians, physicists, biologists and others will be educated there. I personally, as well as Kartu Fund, will continue to fund this, and Diromi will also have a scientific center for Tbilisi. But Kutaisi and the university town will have their own scientific center, where they will be able to defend their dissertations. Of course, we started our university model in close collaboration with the Technical University of Munich. However, it is important that future programs will develop in cooperation with various universities and centers. The cooperation agreement that we signed with the Ulich Research Center, with which we will cooperate in the fields of natural sciences and medical fields, is a good example thereof. Kutaisi International University will be an educational and scientific hub. It will actually be an academic center for the entire region. Very interesting experiments will take place there, joint experiments that Georgian scientists will conduct together with their foreign colleagues. Um, with regard to looking at these two projects separately, I think the value of the collaboration with Ulich is in the uh, Hadron Therapy Center. We have a lot of expertise here from uh, nuclear physics, imaging, radiochemistry, which is essential to be able to push forward such a project. And of course, when we're talking about medical physics, then Ulich can play a great role there as well. And I imagine the collaboration will be very fruitful actually for both sides. We will be able to showcase some of our technology in Kodaisi and we hope we will be able to transfer some of our experience to Kodaisi to push the project along much quicker. And we are in contact with our uh, colleagues in Georgia and also here in Germany, not just in Ulich, to widen the scope of the bridge. And that's our basis for our collaboration with Georgia. The Hadron Therapy Center will include a cyclotron, which is the foundation for proton therapy. The chief aim and function of the center will be the treatment of cancer. This project, the Hadron Therapy Center project, will be implemented together with IBA, one of the leading organizations in the world. IBA is the organization where these unique cyclotrons are created and constructed. Cartofan purchased a cyclotron from IBA, which will be the main machine in the Padron Therapy Center. We are very delighted to be able to uh, install the, uh, a clinical system at Kutaisi International University. Uh, the project will include, in fact, two, two sites. One, uh, one part of the system will be used in clinical treatment. The other part will be a research uh, tool 
a particle accelerator with some additional uh, diagnostic and imaging uh, tools that will be used by university to further develop the application of proton therapy. So there are different areas where the collaboration between Kutaisa International uh, University and where both uh, IBA and the university will advance the science. With traditional radiation therapy, the, the beam goes through the tumor and will uh, affect every cell, every tissue on the way to the tumor and beyond the tumor. The difference with proton therapy is that the protons will stop in the tumor and will stop there. They will destroy the cells in the cancerous tumor, but they will not affect the tissue behind the tumor. Proton therapy is especially indicated for children for two reasons. Number one is children, as their, as their tissue are growing, their tissue are especially sensitive to radiation therapy. So the less they get, the better it is. And second of all, with radiation therapy, there is always a slight risk of developing a secondary cancer 10, 15, 20 years later, uh, which is especially important for children as they have a long life expectancy after they are cured. So Georgia will, have, will be the first country in the region to have access to proton therapy and it will be a, a hub for bringing patients from the whole region to uh, Kutaisi University. The programs will be offered in English. This will allow us to create an international educational environment at the university. The range of specialities that the university will offer will be expanded. The addition of natural sciences is planned in 2021. This will include chemistry, physics and biology, for example. In 2022-2023, we will move to engineering field and education, while in the following year, we will add the humanities and, most importantly, medicine. 170,000 square meters will be built during the first stage. The first phase of construction, which will include three academic buildings, three student dormitories, and one residential building for faculty members, as well as a central library and a central dining hall, which will serve the entire campus. In the following phases, two additional academic buildings and the Hadron Therapy Center building will be built, and a university clinic and corresponding laboratories will be attached to the latter. Mr. Bidzina Ivanishvili is the author of the idea of Kutaisi International University. This is an extremely important idea, a very important vision for our country and the entire region. And naturally, the establishment of a university of this scale and level would have been impossible in Georgia without Mr. Bidzina Ivanishvili's and his family's highly significant investment in this project for the ages. I imagine once the university starts operation, we have to exercise a uh, vivid exchange of personnel on all levels. Uh, certainly, we very much hope that uh, German students learn more uh, from Georgia and the Caucasian area and vice versa. It will not be yet another university. It will be a quintessentially European one. Equally impressive will be the cooperation with the University of Munich on this project, which is far more than merely formal. Every teaching standard of this university will be met and we will have a German form of education in Georgia. In the same vein, if German education is accompanied by German assiduousness and diligence, that will give Georgia a new momentum. We must accelerate the pace of development in order to take our historical place. And I do not mean a physical territory literally, but rather our place as a full-fledged member of developed European countries. This cannot be achieved without education, and only education will enable us to succeed.